Okay. Oh. I wrote this a while ago, so let me read it. Broken people will never be happy. No matter where you are, what you do, broken people will never be happy. If you want to be happy, you need to get in touch with your soul. You need to become whole again. Happiness is the byproduct of being an unbroken, whole human spirit. How do I get there? This is an individual journey. You can start by praying, meditating, getting in touch with your inner life, or I don't know. That's just some suggestions. Why am I saying this? Because I'm saying this because this is what liberalism does to people. Liberalism breaks people down. It makes people very miserable, unhappy. And uh, this is what creates the spiritual illness. This is why I believe more, a lot of people are depressed. It's because of the liberal uh, tendency to uh, destroy people. Tell them there's something wrong with you. You need to fix society. Look at all of these uh, injustice. Get angry, get angry. Anyway, I'm not. You know, this is another one I wrote a few days later. What does it mean to be human? Before we can create a society, we need to answer this question. And the answer must be as objective as possible based on the best knowledge that we have. Once we answer this question, then we can go about on the civilizational project. But first, who are we? And what does it mean to be human? What are we doing here on this planet? What is our objective? These are important questions that we have to answer as a collective. Now, this is just my own personal views. I'm not saying this is the truth, but this is what I think. I personally think we are biological robots, slaves imprisoned on this prison planet. We each have a soul that yearns to be free, but is trapped in this biological machine body. I see existence as a prison, so yeah, I don't have much good to say about life. But I could, you know, I could be, this is probably, could be based on my ignorance, because, you know, I don't... I think, I think they're lying to us. <laughs> I think I think there might be a lot of about history they're hiding. Uh, this is where we're today. I think yeah. liberalism des destroys people. Liberalism, using the moniker of human rights, individual freedoms, and democracy, tells people, inculcates them, in fact. The idea there is something wrong with them about the world, and that they sh they could and that they should push for political change. In effect, it creates a problem in the minds of vulnerable people. It's a creed. It preys on the vulnerable people and says, here, liberalism is the solution. Human rights, fundamental freedoms, human rights, democracy, the slogans. But here, I'm not saying societies are perfect sure things could be improved but it is the cynical use of liberalist slogans such as human rights and civil rights in order to regime change promote regime change and remove obstacles to control of the resources of a country that are objective yeah this is the cynical weaponization of liberal values is morally repugnant and people should not fall for it this is very important here is a fiery Christian sermon by a Southern Baptist preacher. This is, by, this is very old. I listened to this years ago, but back then I was interested in more philosophical questions such as the meaning of life and the existence of God. Now I am approaching this from a societal perspective, how liberalism destroys a society. I don't agree with everything said in this sermon, particularly about Islam. I don't think Islam is a problem. Uh, that is a n another liberal, neo-colonial Western lie. Islam is only a problem when countries like Iran stand in the way of the West's hegemony, another cynical ploy of the neocons. Uh, this is, uh, see, uh, 
Saudi Arabia, oh, we, we, that's not a problem, but Iran is the problem. Why is Iran the problem? Because Iran stands up to the West. The Iran doesn't do what the West tells it to do. Yeah, you see how they cynically use it. I think this liberal societal destructive project has been going on for centuries. I wonder who brought it here. Was it aliens, fallen angels, Satan, the devil? These things cannot be ruled out. You know, the Elohim from the Bible. I'm, I'm, I don't. I, I think we have to keep that in, in 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 mind because there might be something going on here. You know, we can't just. Maybe the invasion of this planet happened like well during the time of the Industrial Revolution. Who brought all of that stuff in here? Maybe it was uh, uh, some uh, <laughs> you know aliens might have done it. You know, uh, some the technological advance, the you know the the aromantic spirit, the 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 push towards AI and 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 the ro robots. Maybe we are being invaded by some kind of an uh, anti-human force. This is, this is why I'm saying liberalism is anti-human, because maybe this liberal idea, uh, which has been centuries in the making, maybe it was actually it's a, it's a force that is brought by aliens to brainwash us and then to destroy our societies, to genetically modify us. Maybe there is some truth to this. I'm not saying it's... Uh, it's completely true but maybe this is I, I'm sort of looking at something hmm, maybe there's something here at the risk of people accusing me of being a hypocrite let me just say I'm that I'm not a Christian I'm just analyzing the problems of society as I see them I don't know what the future holds I think there might be a future utopia somewhere out there let's call it liberally liberal liberalia liberally a place where people's freedoms are genuinely respected. Genuine freedom, not this fake freedom. We, li we live in a very fake uh, society. Where it's all fake freedom, fake rights. There's, there's nothing is real. There's no reality of the freedoms in here. It's all just uh, a mirage, a charade, a stage. But maybe there's a society where these are genuinely respected and promoted and are, and are not cynically employed to advance various power agendas of megalomania, maniacal elites. Maybe such a place does exist, but perhaps only in our minds. Uh, in reality, it seems to it seems to me we should always be on guard against those who want to usurp power for their own nefarious ends. This is why I think successful states in this multipolar order, or in, well, that's the Westphalian <laughs> doctrine, I think, need to have a strong military social cohesion supplemented by a market economy that works in the interests of the state and not for profit motives. The economy in the, in the neoliberal global order, profit usurps national interests, which leads to all this lying and gaslighting and cynicism. They're destroying democracy, human rights because now it now it's not about uh, those values it's, it's it's about power yeah. this is a complicated topic i'm just stretching uh, scratching the surface here you know it's unfortunate that these idiots push, pushed us they, they had an opportunity to do the right thing you know after the cold war they had an, the america had an opportunity to to set an example as the shining light on the hill or whatever that phrase is to to set an example for other people for other countries to follow instead of setting a good example to to emulate it went around doing regime change this google uh, uh, try to control the whole planet the rules based and and now because of the wars they've fought and you know destroying these small countries now they think they're so invincible and then they've overplayed their hand they thought they could do the same to russia and that just that failed and now the, the things are just blowing up on them you know they 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 brought <laughs> They bought into their own propaganda of being invincible, 
the greatest country in the history of the planet, and now it's fall, now they're they're falling flat on their face. They could have they could have set a good example, and 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 because of hubris, arrogance, because they thought they were so powerful, they, they could keep on doing this, and now it's just yeah they they they, they fucked it up, <laughs> okay. <laughs> And now this it's it's gotten so bad that they don't even hide it anymore. They don't even hide the fact that they're cynically employing liberal ideas to promote regime change. It's look at what they're doing in Georgia, trying to look at what they did to Ukraine with the whole garbage Maidan when they and and now look look what they're trying to assassinate uh, leaders of countries, you know, like like the Turkey and. Even, even I even heard Saudi Arabia. There was a, a, a attempt, and, and now in Slovakia. Look, at, these people are losing it. There's a lot of global instability. They're trying to maintain their hegemony, the rules based, but they, but the people are waking up and they're saying, no, actually, you guys are just nuts. You guys just, you guys are just interested in maintaining your power. They failed. They failed. Um, yeah.